thanks once again for joining us here at the, on our new Tech Talks with the GIS Trek. The topic today is custom symbology in ArcGIS Pro. Let me set this up a little bit. Um, you know, when we use ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Pro comes with a tremendous number of um, possible symbologies that we can utilize, different ways that we can symbolize points, lines, and polygons. However, they do not have every symbol imaginable. I mean, it's impossible because someone else would always think of something new that they want as a new symbol. So the capability to incorporate custom symbology in ArcGIS Pro is pretty important. Now here at ISU, probably just like many of you, I've been involved in some of the university and regional COVID responses. And one of the things that I was asked to do by our facilities services is to create a map of where hand sanitizer locations are located in each building. Now the map that we're looking at right here is not the location of the hand sanitizers uh, at Idaho State University, but rather it's a, just a fictitious generic point location. And really what it is, is it's just one point um, or, or maybe a couple points inside each uh, distinct structure or building on, on the campus in Pocatello. But we'll pretend, we will simulate that this is location of um, potential hand sanitizers or maybe even in reality, this is the location of hand sanitizers. Okay. Um, so the symbol that they wanted me to use is not a symbol that I could find inside of ArcGIS Pro. What we're looking for is this symbol right here. It looks like a hand sanitizer dispenser, some sort of a dispenser for something that goes on your hand at least. Uh, and this does not already exist in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, however, there are tremendous resources that I found of additional symbologies that are available, freely available, uh, that will work beautifully, very, very well inside ArcGIS Pro. And one of those is, let's see where, this is it right here. One of those is this NAPSG uh, Foundation Symbol Library. And these are free to download. Here is the URL to this. I will try to put that URL uh, into the YouTube description so you can just click on it. And um, you can read through this. There's a little licensing that just says it's, it is freely available, both sort of things. And you step through this and you can access the symbol library tool or tools. So I have done that. And uh, I have downloaded a bunch of their different tools and what I have now is all of these tools, or rather all of these symbols available to me uh, that'll work beautifully inside ArcGIS Pro. Lots of different symbols, and including, if I look for hand, hand sanitizers, uh, these are also have been added to the same folder where I have some um, symbology layers added to one of my servers. Uh, we see that I have this standardized black hand sanitizer um, icon or symbol. I modified that with Paint Shop Pro and just changed all the black colors to blue. And again, I changed all the black colors to red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this standard black hand, uh, hand sanitizer symbol to indicate that there's a hand sanitizer location there, um, but I don't know what its status is. The blue will indicate that it's a fully operational hand sanitizer unit, and the red will indicate that yes, there is a hand sanitizer there, but it needs some sort of maintenance. 
maybe it needs to be refilled, something broke, whatever. Okay, so that's what I have here. And now what I want to do is let's put all this to use. Let's bring all this together. So I'm going to go back to ArcGIS Pro. And let's explore this layer just a little bit more. I earlier drew attention to all these points. We're going to simulate that this is the actual location of hand sanitizers. Let's take a look at the attribute table. This attribute table is pretty simple. We simply have the building name and then we have the status of the hand sanitizer um, item or uh, unit in that building, fully operational, unknown, so on and so forth. I'd also like to take just a moment to show you uh, that as facilities, uh, individuals or um, uh, custodians are maintaining this data, we've set it up in such a way that it um, is uh, something that could be updated with ArcGIS collector for ArcGIS or the new field mapping for ArcGIS. Uh, and so simple to update, the person would just select um, by touching upon on their um, mobile device, either unknown, fully operational or needs maintenance, no possibility of a typo or something like this, and certainly no need to even type out all this stuff much, much faster than that by using a coded value attribute domain. And just real quickly, once again, I'm gonna show you that. We can look at our coded value attribute domains that are operating behind the scenes by right-clicking on that layer, going to its design mode and selecting domains. And there we have the only domain in this geo database where this uh, point um, feature class exists. It is the status domain. It is the status, so here's the description, status of hand sanitizer stations. Uh, under the hood, behind the scenes, this is actually stored as a short integer, zeros, ones, and twos, and that is the wording that the end user sees or the uh, wording that will appear on our web maps and so on and so forth. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to apply this stuff and actually um, change the symbology from this default set of points to those black, blue, and red hand sanitizer um, symbols. So what I'm going to do is, well, you've probably figured this part out already. I'm going to right click on the feature class, go to symbology. Symbology pane has popped up. And because I have a couple of different types of um, sanitizer statuses, I want to use uh, unique values. The field that I'm gonna be reading from is not of course the building name, but the hand sanitizer status field, which automatically fills in with the, what we've seen before, unknown, fully operational, and needs maintenance. There are no, uh, Sanitize, hand sanitizer points that have any other value besides these three. So of course this always pops up, but I'm just gonna get rid of this thing. Easiest way to do that that I found is to click this more button right over here and turn off show all other values. Takes them out automatically. Now let's handle the unknowns. I click here, that's gonna jump me over to uh, by default, it'll jump me to this gallery where I can take a look. And of course, I'm not going to see that nice little hand sanitizer symbol. We know uh, it, is on, uh, it is on my server. Um, and so I go over to the properties. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now click on, instead of shape marker, which is default, I'm going to change this to picture marker. This screen or pane changes just a little bit. Now I'm gonna click on File, and I've already made a connection to my server where these symbols exist, the same server uh, that we looked at a little while ago. I'm now gonna scroll down, went a little bit too far. There's my hand sanitizers, and my unknown hand sanitizers, I said are the ones shown in black. Select it, okay. Pretty small, 
All right, look at that right down there. I'll pop this up. I've been playing with this a little bit, at least for the purposes of this webinar. I'm going to use a 24 point size. That doesn't look too bad. I'm now going to apply that, and that doesn't look too bad at all. Now let's continue and get the rest of these done. Fully operational, exactly the same process, picture marker, file. Yes, I'm going to have to. Um, scroll through this each time. That's okay. This is the one that's fully operational. Whoops. And so it is to be shown in blue. Again, let's match that size 24 point. Apply that back one more time. Needs maintenance. Picture marker. After doing this once or twice, uh, it really becomes easy, easy. You'll kind of remember this after you do it just a few times. I'm also going to take a minute to show you, in case you don't know, um, how to make these folder connections over to servers, uh, network servers uh, that your enterprise may have, uh, have already set up or something you're sharing for your enterprise. 24 again. You know, and maybe some of these we'd like to have a little bit different size. Maybe we want to have the, um, the ones that need maintenance to be a slightly different size than those that are fully operational. I think that the color allows them to stand out pretty darn well. Um, one of the concerns, of course, is that if we have a lot of fully operational points down here, we may not see some needs maintenance types, but of course we see them when we, um, when we zoom in. So that is the general process. As I promised, I'm going to go back and show you how to make these connections. Um, and this connection then will then uh, exist and be retained for this project once we save it. So I'm going to click here, add folder connection. I'm going to find my S drive. That's our spatial library drive as we've named it. And there is my symbology folder, the exact same symbology folder we looked at uh, a minute ago with Windows Explorer. And there we go, exactly the same things that we were uh, looking at, all at our disposal inside of ArcGIS Pro. And I could close this up and reopen it and everything's gonna stay there course once I save this. Now the other thing I wanted to point out uh, is that even though we've used this custom symbology, we're pulling from uh, some, these that happen to be ping files that are on my, uh, on my server, these transfer over beautifully uh, into ArcGIS Online. They come right up um, and I haven't seen any problem at all with ping files um, working very, very nicely in your um, web maps on ArcGIS Online. And that is another big benefit of what, we're just, uh, what we just went through.